So this guy walks into the music industry with his little MP3 demo tape. You know, puts it into his computer and rocks the whole freaking world. Or at least just me. With fake friend, pretend, and well, just watch this review and you'll know. The first time I found this guy was he did a remix for Church for Fallout Boy, which is actually better than the original. I really like that remix. It was really good, I guess. And then Travis Barker, he did an EP with, and that was straight fire. Uh, then he, I heard Nightmare and Death and Fake Friend. And all three of those songs were freaking bangers and fell in love with his music. I just had to keep listening. And now here we are. His sixth studio LP, Trauma Factory. Let's get into this. It starts with a title track, uh, which this nice bass riff intro and this kind of narrative story um, that kind of really sets the mood for the record, knowing that this is going to be deep. And then comes in lights 4444, uh, pulls off this nice smooth beat filled with some smooth vocals and some very, very deep lyrics. It's catchy and groovy. It, it's a banger. Then Buck comes in with more and more poppy feelings and a cool guitar riff. And it's, it's super catchy, poppy chorus. It's just different, but in a good way. Then comes in love and chemistry with these cool drum beats as well as pulling a nice gu little guitar over this uh, with those catchy chorus and hitting those nice vocals. Uh, really ties it together, you know. Exile hits with a nice piano intro and these cool yeah yeahs that you can't deny and that epic bass riff that completes the song right there. Upside Down has a nice soft guitar riff and that steady beat over with a chorus so catchy you can't get out of your head. Outstanding lyrics as well, amazing song. One of the better lyric songs actually on this album. Uh, Pain Place comes in with these melodrama lyrics uh, and vocals that shock your heart to Mars and see and you can see the rover and you come back. It, yeah. And then Misogi does a great feature as well. Uh, then still my favorite song from the record is Fake Friend Plays. Uh, and it always has, it has this way of seeking your attention and hooks you in with that first bass riff and then connecting your spirits onto that chorus just fantastic the lyrics and metaphor are well genius played and catchy on this track it's sad and amazing death plays with his mediocre vocals and the screaming that's insane beat with this roar through the house just a madness in one song fire uh, pretend comes in with this epic bass line and this nice rap over a steady beat. Then the chorus comes in for this rock overload, just obsessed over the banger. Uh, then we get Blood with the mastermind Kenny Hoopla and Judge as well. Now I know, uh, I love Kenny. Uh, I love his song with uh, Travis Barker that he did and then the How I Rest in Peace song. He just got a unique voice. And this track with Nowhere... Uh, he nowhere uses these faded vocals and a catchy poppy chorus that you can't deny singing to that chorus. Now I got blood on my hands, blood on my hands. Oh, it's so cool. And Kenny and Judge hit their verses as amazing as well. Nightmare is another uh, poppy song with a catchy chorus. More like a danceable song about his death, but hey, it's still good, right? Then Crave comes in and exactly what you mean. It's more of a smoother song making you want to crave for more of that epic bass line and poppiness. And makes you wonder what's coming with these next two songs. Then Real comes in with probably one of the deepest lyrics on here. And a nice acoustic ballad. Building up for the last song. It's it's crazy. And who could deny that rap on that guitar? I mean, come on. It's pretty cool. Uh, the ending song on the album is Barely Bleeding. It starts off with a smooth acoustic vibe. And somehow almost kind of like grayscale vocals over it. It's insane. Then brings it in with this cool beat and builds up to the chorus which he screams out crying for help over this acoustic guitar. It's so cool. It's mellow and then it brings in these drums and just explodes at the end for a full pop punk banger. So now that tra Trauma Factory is here after three years in progress. This album was worth it. It was worth the three years waiting. Please, if you have time, take time to listen to this album and really listen to it. Focus on the lyrics. Focus on the bass lines. Focus on the instrumentals. It's a masterpiece. And it'll go down as one of the best albums I've heard all year. So far. I give Trauma Factory right now a 9 out of 10. 
a freaking forest out fire album, man. Some essential tracks if you don't want to listen to the whole album, which I don't know why you wouldn't, because this is freaking awesome. Some essential tracks that'll get you to listen to the album. There you go. That'll work. That'll work. Uh, Fake Friend, definitely. Real, Barely Bleeding, and Pretend. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. This is Nothing Nowhere's Trauma Factory. A freaking masterpiece.